Hi everyone. All right, so some of you may know living in the southern part of the United States means that we have lots of heat and we have lots of humidity. Now the humidity is great for skin because it keeps our skin from, um, it keeps it softer and it keeps it from cracking so much. But once in a while we get to have some cold weather like the rest of the world gets and it can get actually very cold here in the south and when it does we experience what all of you do and that is fingers that start to crack and sometimes even bleed and that becomes a real problem when you're trying to play a stringed instrument because it's it's painful those little thin strings on a crack on the finger is not fun and so those of us that are longtime professionals we know how to deal with this and i want to share some things that we do to help uh, keep those cracks from really becoming a problem when, when it comes time to play the instrument, and in our case, the cello. So the first thing you wanna do is always make sure that you have a nice, um, a really good lotion on your hands. And I use something that I just get from a local store called Target, and it's just like a, a shea butter. And what you wanna do is make sure that you get that really, really uh, into the tips of your fingers, all around the edges of your fingers, and really rub that in there well. And the next, Thing that you want to do is to put on something we call liquid bandage. Now I didn't even know about this stuff for a long time until I had a stand partner and I was just really having trouble with a cracked finger and she said we'll put some liquid bandage on there and I thought I don't even know what that is so she she shared some of hers with me and now I know all about this and use it all the time. So uh, if you live in the states you know what liquid bandage is. It's this uh, it's this very strong kind of a glue that you can put in the cut. Now, I'm gonna tell you that it does sting really bad when you first put it in there. If you just get past that first few seconds when it stings, um, it basically seals the cut. So what I do is I just get a little bit of this and I put it right there on the tip of my finger where the cut is and I let it dry. And I usually put two or three coats on there. So I really wanna have a nice, um, a nice, coating of that on the on the crack so that it doesn't open up anymore so that kind of seals the crack to start with so that's the first thing that i do now i'm sure this liquid band-aid has different names in different places if you live somewhere outside the united states um, why don't you go ahead and put in the comments what you call this there so people all around can find this liquid band-aid where they live because it's a really good thing to have for musicians okay the next thing i like to do is to get a band-aid, an actual band-aid, not a liquid band-aid. And I just get the, the pink, you know, the skin toned part of the band-aid and I cut off a very, very, very thin piece of that band-aid. And then what I like to do is I like to just go ahead and put that across wise on the, on the nail right over that cut so that it seals it a little bit more and it'll go across the nail and then across the pad of your finger. So once you get it in place, really stick it on there well and you can actually play for a long time. I've done full rehearsals with this setup and I don't have any trouble anymore. So then once you've got that on there and it's securely on there, you're going to see that when you go to play, that that second finger is very comfortable now. I don't feel any pain. It just feels like my fingers should feel all the time. So that's our little tip that we use as professionals to keep that cut from prohibiting you from playing your stringed instrument. Um, if you like this uh, tip and want some more, please subscribe to my channel below, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you at the next one.